Hey guys! Uh, it's been a heck of a week and I've been too lazy to redo my nails even though one of them has been bitten off by a terrible monster. Uh, too lazy to do a uh, front facing intro for this so just wanted to say hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is a video about friction pens. Um, I know that they're a little bit, uh, not controversial, but some people really love them, some people really hate them. Uh, polarizing. We'll say they're polarizing. Some people just don't see the point, but I'm going to try to show you the point today. Today's video includes five friction hacks that you can use with your Bujo and three friction uh, handy tips to get you started when you're new to the pens or if you just need to know stuff. You know how some people play it fast and loose with the term hack? Well, basically the first thing that would be a really useful reason to use friction pens for your planning and the reason that I think a lot of people really are drawn to it is just the fact that you can erase stuff and uh, you know in your daily planning and replace it. Like if your plans change but they change early enough that it's not like a disruption to your day, just you know erase the thing and rewrite it or maybe you misspell something. The ability to re erase stuff is you know it's a really great uh, feature that you know the other option is having a pencil which there's just something a lot nicer about a gel pen and it really does erase very cleanly. For example, look at that. Oh no, there's a mistake on my page. And just erase it like that. And you can barely even tell it was there. But where the friction pens really start to shine in planning is being able to reuse one spread multiple times. This is my example. I'm showing you my recurring tasks uh, list. And basically I write here the last time I did something. Um, one of these, you know, recurring tasks every so often. Um, and every time I do them, I'll write down the next time in my future log. But then the last time, I'll erase the date and write in the new date so that I always know the last time I did it. And so being able to use the erasable pen, I can get a lot of use out of this instead of having to cross out a line and write it again. I can just fill this page up and not have to, um, worry about running out of space because I'll always just use the same line and be able to replace that date over and over and over again. A similar idea is this sort of reference page. This is for something I do for my Hogwarts, the WizU, uh, Wizarding University, and this is my list of all of the classes that we offer and all of the professors that teach there, uh, as well as like the last time I contacted them and if there's any outstanding issues. Um, and then just whether the class is ready to go or whether it still needs work before we can accept students. Um, and so we have rollover from time to time. People will leave the site or whatever um, or just drop the subject because they're too busy. So for example, um, the divination class doesn't have a teacher right now because we're hiring. So I've erased the teacher who, uh, who left and then um, there's a, you know, a star here in the column when it needs work. I'll replace that with a check once the uh, the new professor puts up their lessons and then whenever I PM somebody about an issue I'll put the date that I last PM'd them and then when I do it again you know I replace it with dates and so everything is always up to date and nothing looks messy it's all very tidy because I'm able to remove the old information and replace it with new information so it can be really helpful for things like maybe address books where people move and you can just erase their old information and replace it with the new and everything still looks tidy. Friction don't just come in the standard pen. This is a clicker. This one's actually an 05. This one's an 07. Um, they also come in these fun markers, which are fine point markers, but much bolder than the pen. And then also they come in highlighters. I only have one highlighter uh, personally. I bought it separately, but they come in, I believe four or five packs. There's this pastel pack and then a brights pack of you know normal highlighter colors. And it's really great. Um, because you know you can highlight things and if you highlight the wrong part you can erase it or if you don't need something highlighted anymore you can erase it uh, which is always helpful. Um, the other thing about this that I found helpful particularly about this um, highlighter but you can also use these as highlighters uh, the lighter colors. These are called friction colors by the way the markers. But basically the point of this ink is it doesn't seep into the paper because it sort of sits on top that's one of the reasons why it can be, uh, be erased is because it sort of sits on top of the paper and so it's less likely to bleed. Um, I find that really it doesn't bleed at all uh, on my papers and so I find that these highlighters are particularly good for Bibles. 
Bibles, of course, have really thin paper because, you know, you have to have a lot of pages in there. Um, and so having a highlighter that sits on top of the page instead of sinking through, that way you don't have the bleed through on the other side. It makes it a little bit easier to see. And of course, you can always erase it if you need to. But you do want to be careful on the uh, Bible paper when you're erasing because, you know, you could rip. But it's really great just for the properties of not sinking through the paper that I appreciate. And then one other aspect of the erasable ink that really uh, sort of opened up a whole world for me was uh, the ability to use these, um, any of these pens really, the markers work particularly well, uh, for sewing projects. Because the way that these work, and the, the name friction sort of alludes to this, is um, it's heat sensitive, it's thermosensitive ink, and so when it reaches a certain temperature, it disappears. It stays there, but it becomes clear and you can't see it. Um, and so the, what the friction does, it's this little rubber eraser. It doesn't um, come apart like a pencil eraser does because it doesn't like grab onto the ink and move it away. It just uh, creates friction against the paper, heating up that surface enough to make the ink invisible. So the other way to make the ink invisible would be to just use something hot like an iron. Um, and when you're sewing, you're gonna use an iron all the time anyway. So you can use these really great to, you know, mark darts or, um, you know, even just the place where you want to cut, uh, any sort of notation that you want to make on your patterns instead of using the chalk or whatever. If you have these handy, you can use that. Um, and it just, it works pretty well because really it's just instant with the iron. It's hot enough that this just instantly disappears. I would still uh, mark it on the inside because you can sort of see a little bit of a light mark there, but it's, um, colorless really and I think it works really well especially if it's going to be hidden by you know a seam or something anyway but um, I really appreciate these for sewing. And so the last few things I wanted to mention um, like I said it's thermosensitive ink so it disappears when it gets hot um, so for one thing you don't want to use these friction inks for any important documents don't use them for signing pens or for anything sorry for signing checks or for anything that might need to go through a copier multiple times because sometimes the copier heat can cause the ink to fade. I uh, definitely don't want to leave any documents uh, with the friction ink out in the car on a hot day or in the sun because that can make the ink disappear. Um, the other thing is that if you've erased it um, and then it gets very cold again, like if you leave something in the freezer or maybe even if the weather's cold enough or you leave it outside in the winter, um, that ink that you've erased can reappear. So that's something to take into account when you're using it for sewing projects or even just if you live in climates that have extreme temperatures like that. Um, but yeah, I never use my friction pens for important documents for signing things um, unless like I have used it to sign a check that I am e-depositing because I'm just using that to take a picture and it won't matter after that. But other than that, uh, I wouldn't recommend it for any important documents. Here's a piece of scratch paper. I'm going to show you uh, something that is just useful to know about friction pens that you may not think of. Um, this is a mechanical pencil. Just writing the word test there, you may or may not be able to see it. Um, and then I'm going to use just one of these friction pens. You know what? I'll do the first two letters in the marker and the second two letters here in the ballpoint. So a lot of times um, people like to use a pencil to lay out what they want to do with their planner or whatever to sort of make things temporary. Um, if you use a pencil and a friction, you want to make sure you don't use them at the same time because you can erase this. But what you see here, I'm erasing the friction ink you can still see the pencil underneath. You can see that it still says test. Now I can use this eraser and it's not gonna work to erase it at all. See, it's not coming up at all. And that's because, like I was saying, this friction ink doesn't sink into the paper. Like um, if you're using like a marker or you know, like a fine liner or something to do maybe your layouts, um, it'll sink into the paper and leave the pencil on the top and then you can erase away your pencil lines. But with this, it doesn't sink into the paper or through the pencil, it just sits right on top of the paper and basically forms a protective shield between the pencil and the eraser so that you can't erase the pencil once it's uh, 
been written over with the friction. I learned that the hard way um, when I had to change something that I had written in pencil and it wouldn't come up. So just keep that in mind. That's a, just a, a handy hip tip for you. And then my last tip for you, uh, if you live in the US, you'll probably see these 07 size. They come uh, from Staples or Office Depot or really only any office supply store. I got this pack that has the blue, the red, and a black, and they're all the 07. And they also sell the refills of the 07 at office supply stores and online and everywhere, um, Staples and such. But if you want to get any different thicknesses, you have to get the Japanese import. This one is, uh, I got this just at a Japanese store. If you live somewhere near a Japanese store, uh, this one was called Tokyo Lifestyle, I believe, and it's a chain in Southern California, perhaps beyond, I'm not sure. But I was actually able to buy these individually. That's where I got the highlighter as well. So that's just, if you want to buy just one, you can probably find them at a Japanese uh, stationery store. But they have uh, 05 and also I believe a 0.38, uh, different finer points for the pen. And here I'll show you the difference. I don't have the 07 in black here. I brought that to the office. But you'll see it's a bit thicker than the 05. And then the, o, the 0.38, of course, is even smaller. But because these are refillable, you can actually get these refills. You can find them on jetpens.com and they come in this three pack. You just want to make sure you get the package that looks like this. Uh, I think I may have the lid on backwards. There you go. Looks like that. It says 05 and it comes with three refills in there and you can find the uh, finer points that way. And so you, they are actually interchangeable. You can put the finer point refills inside the 07 if you just want to get the barrel from Staples but the refills from Jet Pens. You can do that if you prefer the finer point. Uh, otherwise, they come in all sorts of different colors um, and they actually on Jet Pens have like a multi-pen that's a friction. Um, I would think it would be awesome if you could get it to fit in a Coletto but I have no idea if that would work or not. But um, yeah, that's what I use, I really enjoy using my 05 friction for all of my planning. Um, I use it for practically everything except for um, like colorful headers and if I want like a structure to a page that, here I'll show you. Here's an example. This is my, um, here's an example. This is my uh, debt payment savings tracker. These uh, rectangles that represent the amount of the loans we have, those are using the um, Stabilo fine liner. So those won't erase. And then I use the uh, friction on the inside so that if I make a mistake, I can erase it. Or if I want to fill in the line without having a little join in the middle, I just you know can erase it and redo it. So uh, I use certain pens that I don't want erased, like the border of this one as well, is a um, Pigma Micron. And then I use my friction pens all over my planner because I think it's really handy and I very appreciate uh, having the option to erase things if I need to because life changes and my planner can change with it. So uh, sorry about if that was kind of rambly but and sorry that uh, I haven't bothered to do anything nice to my nails for a while and it's all good. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you tuning in every week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I do post videos three times a week. So the next one will be on Sunday. And I will see you guys then. Have a good one. Bye.